Classroom Energizer number 10. Shazam! This is like rock, paper, scissors, except you have knights, wizards and giants. Put the students into groups, together they have to decide what they want to be. Do they want to be a giant, a wizard or a knight? And then they have to act it out. Wizards beat knights, knights beat giants, giants beat wizards. So once they've picked what they want to be, you count down three, two, one, and all the groups have to act out what they are in unison. For example, the wizards have to say, Shazam! The giants have to say, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum. Knights have to say, in God and take out their swords. This is a fun way for the students to work as a team and also have a lot of fun. Classroom Energizer 11. Miming. Miming is a fantastic way for students to use TPR in the classroom. So you can tell them, I want you to mime actions, I want you to mime animals, I want you to mime whatever you can think of. For example, when it comes to sports, you can say, I want you to do a jumping shot. I want you to juggle soccer balls, dance like a ballerina, swing a golf club, downhill skiing, serving a tennis ball, shooting an arrow, batting a baseball. Use miming in your class to make a connection between the word uh, or the phrase and the meaning so that they can internalize the language in their own lives. Classroom Energizer 12. Miming a lie. Ask the students what they are doing. They have to mime one thing, but say another. For example, if they say, I'm serving a tennis ball, but they mime swinging a baseball bat. This is, is going to be really fun and difficult for them at first, but you'll see how they adapt and how fun it is for them to do later. The students have a great time by watching their friends trying to lie and mime at the same time. Classroom Energizer 13. Line up. Ask your students to stand next to a wall. Then they have to arrange themselves according to their height. After that, you can check them and then ask them to rearrange themselves according to their telephone number or alphabetically according to their name or according to their birthday. You can use anything you can think of for them to rearrange themselves. Playing games and using fun activities in the classroom is a great way to keep your students engaged. If you would like to have all these activities and resources, I put a link to the book in the description below.